my children won't have to do the groundwork. Mm -hmm. It'll already be up and running, kind of like solar is now. Um, I don't see why FEMA would not help with this, considering they have all, just Rhode Island alone, right. you know, the amount of money, you know, and I was just wondering if you've thought of that or if anybody's approached them and talked to them about it. So, the more educated the people are, yeah. the more it's done. You're, you're absolutely correct, and FEMA does have several programs to uh, educate, and, and a lot of them go through the municipalities um, and through the state. And so, um, very good point. Maybe there's a type of hazard mitigation, they have hazard mitigation grants. Um, usually those go to the municipality to develop there's their... There's 20 of them, right? 20 um, municipalities that I have land below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, so um, my, my district is one of them. Yeah. My so, time, our time. Yeah. So, so in fact, um, some of the <coughs> funds that are available to do the hazard mitigation plans, or for instance, in Westerly, where they're raising, um, where they're raising some houses, I think also in Warwick they've done mm -hmm. that. Um, some of those funds actually come through FEMA. We could um, speak with them at this point to see if they have any funds for training, in particular. But a lot of it is in plan development as well as actual projects that that result. So um, that is something that we could look into as well. Yeah. And this is for just for now to get this going. That we're going right, to get it off the ground. That's so, what yeah, I understand. Exactly right. So mm -hmm. that's, that's probably down the road for us. Yeah. yeah. And again, I think uh, thank you, Representative Bennett, well, Representative Wilkinson. You know, my question is more as it's down the road. It's not really pertaining directly to this agenda. Yeah. That's fine. We'll to keep it to right. focus on this. Mm -hmm. And I want it to be known that, uh, put on the record, that Representative Barris is present and would like to be recorded the affirmative on the holding of the bills. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Now, I, I do have a question. <laughs> now we, we know that the stormwater issue is you know there's been talks about setting up a utility so that uh, cities and towns can actually figure out a way to regulate it. Is that part of the what we're talking about here? Um, for this training, no. Uh, this is an introductory about um, why stormwater is an issue and why dealing with it is is something. Maybe when we say what you can do we might indicate for that one that municipalities could develop a stormwater district. So that might be, um, even though you know, in our one slide or in our recommendations, we would say, and what can you do as a member? You can take more trainings, you can incorporate this into your decisions, and you could look into stormwater districts like that. Thank you. Any, any further questions? Thank you very much. Thank I you. Very, very informal, no. informational, excuse me. <laughs> and <informal. laughs> Next, next we have Meg Kerr from the Rhode Island Auto Bond, Auto Bond Society. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman and members of the committee. My name is Meg Kerr and I'm the Policy Director at the Auto Bond Society of Rhode Island. And we are in favor of this legislation. Um, my comments will be very brief. Um, you all probably are familiar with Audubon and our properties and the places where you can go and uh, hike and see nature. We have 14 refuges that are open to the public. Audubon also has about 78 smaller properties all around the state. Um, so we have property in 30 cities and towns and um, work with municipal officials in all those cities and towns on development that impacts our refuges. A lot of them are coastal. And um, it's really critical that boards and commissions, the planning boards, as there's turnover um, on those boards, get that sort of basic education about climate change, what's happening now, what's going to happen in the future, so that um, they understand the threats to their towns and to, to our properties. So it will help us in our communication at the local level, and uh, we encourage you to uh, approve it. Thank you. Any questions for that? Thank, Thank you, you very much, Meg. Appreciate that. Next on our agenda, we'll move on to House Bill 5043, and this is by Representative Ackerman, and this is an act related to taxation, veterans, license, and motor vehicles. And I Thank you, Chairwoman. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's very simple enabling legislation. Allows cities and towns to exempt veterans who lease their cars. So right now they can. Uh, give them the exemption when they own a car. And, you know, a couple of veterans came up to me in my district and said, you know, we lease cars. 
can we get this exemption? And I looked and I said, no, I guess not, unless we allow, the state allows the city's intent to do So it's very easy enabling. They can choose whether they want to do it or not. Any, okay. Okay. Any questions for Vice Chair Ackerman? No? Well, we have somebody here who would like to speak, and it's uh, Mr. John Gallo. He's recorded it as a pro. So, Thank you. Good afternoon, Chairman and members of the House Municipal Government Committee. My name is John Gallo. I'm testifying in support of the bill. I'm testifying as a current member and past president of both the House Permanent Veterans Advisory Council and the United Veterans Council of Rhode Island. We feel this is a good bill will provide the excise tax exemption for those veterans and gold star parents that do not own real estate in cities and towns where they live, nor do they own motor vehicles. We believe this is, there is no fiscal impact on the state it's only a bill that allows or enables cities and towns to grant the excise tax exemption that's provided in Rhode Island General Law 44-34, Section 44-34-5, to leased motor vehicles of qualified veterans, gold star parents that reside in the city and town. Once again, we believe it's a good bill, and we ask that we recommend or ask the committee to vote to recommend passage of this bill. Thank you. Are there any questions for Mr. Gallo? Because it's an enabling for the cities and towns to, oh, to allow them to decide, right. so we're giving them the authority to do so. And the veterans committee they know about this bill? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good bill. All right. No further questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Gallo. Thank Dow. you. I appreciate your time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. At this point, I'll take the motion to adjourn. Move second. Second. Right. We are adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody.